uh, another way to keep kids active and strong, give them plenty of vitamin D. A new study says that seven out of 10 American children have low levels of vitamin D, which threatens bone and heart health. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is back with more on this. Hello again. Good morning again, Maggie. So in the previous segment, we showed some of the foods that are fortified with vitamin D. Now tell us why it's so crucial that kids get enough. Well, let's talk about what the study showed. It came out of Montefiore Medical Center here in New York City. They looked at over 6,000 children and across all demographic groups in all parts of the country, different ethnic backgrounds. And they found that, as you said, 7 out of 10 had low or, frankly, deficient levels, which we know can have a series of impacts on our health. And Basically, what the study showed is that the children with lower vitamin D levels had higher top number of the blood pressure. They had lower calcium levels because calcium and vitamin D kind of go hand in hand. And they also had a lower HDL, which is the good cholesterol mm. level. And the other thing that we're seeing a resurgence of, the study didn't show it, but rickets, which we haven't seen for years in this country, a weakening of the bones. We're seeing more and more of that in this country because children are just not getting enough. And remind us, you said it before, but how much is enough? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics is saying 400 IUs or units a day. And, you know, there's only three ways we can get vitamin D, Maggie, from the sun in supplemental form or with fortified foods. And if children aren't playing outside enough or we're using more sunscreen, which is a good thing, and they're not getting it in supplementary form, their levels are just not what they should be. But I was surprised to find in reading the study that some doctors are actually recommending your kids forego the sunblock for a couple of hours in the sun. Right. And of course, like any topic in medicine, there's some controversy here. The good thing about vitamin D is you don't have to expose your children to the harmful effects of the sun in order for them to get it naturally because you can get it through food, but more importantly, you can get it through supplements. So yes, if you want to get it the natural way, ten, about 10 minutes without any sunblock a day, twice a week will give you about 3,000 units a day. But if you draw a line, Maggie, from Los Angeles to South Carolina, everyone living in the country above that line is not getting enough natural sunlight exposure during the majority of the year to get the levels that they need. And if we, we don't want to incorporate all these foods into our kids' diet, can just taking one vitamin uh, handle all your vitamin D Absolutely. needs? Absolutely. And I give my children, my children are a little bigger, they're 9 and 11, I give them 1,000 units a day in supplementary form. They have, you know, they have vitamin D3 in the gummy bear form. Okay. You have to keep these away from kids because they look like candy, but one a day is perfectly fine. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. You bet, Maggie.